lawn chair social. We are on lawn chairs and we're gonna attempt to be social. Yeah. And uh, how was your fourth? That was great, man. Pleasant Grove put on a fireworks show at Discovery Park, which is where we first filmed that park. Mm. Super fun, dude. It was really packed, but uh, we set up our things a couple hours before, so we had a nice spot all set up. So we're good. That's yeah. sweet. What about you? I had a decent fourth. I was a little sick. I'm still a little sick. You can hear it a bit. But all in all, we went to one of my wife's families, uh, their house, because they have a cool little cul-de-sac. Nice. And so they and another neighbor, they kind of both pitch in and combine their fireworks to make it last a little longer. And it's pretty sweet though, because where they live, it's it's pretty high up there. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, band aerial view. Yeah. You could see right over to Provo. You could see Orem. You could see everything. So in all reality, they don't need to buy fireworks. But I think some of the fun is setting them off. And Definitely. There's a thrill to it. For sure. But Oh, check this out, man. That's dope. This is like... Don't slow down for us, bro. I know, seriously. So, oh, that's cool. I was thinking, and you know what has me just absolutely like peeved out of my mind? This wind. Yeah, <laughs> this wind. But like, I'm gonna encompass it in adultism. Okay. And when I'm talking about adultism, there's two big things that I'm thinking about. One, adult onset allergies have you heard of that no i'm not well i am a enlighten I, me i am a adult onset allergy victim so back in california i never had allergies allergies i thought it was the dumbest thing ever and not not like not like cats dogs peanut butter allergies yeah but like i get you no. pollen yeah allergies Seasonal. yeah come up to utah first year and i just absolutely get decimated and then i was like this is this is such malarkey because my whole life i've gone without allergies never needing to take a zyrtec or whatever or a claritin yep. benadryl to coming up here and and i can't live without it like i i basically have got hay fever and I thought, oh, maybe when I go back down to California to visit, my allergies will settle. No. Nope. Same. Sneeze. Sneeze like crazy. Eyes get watery. Nose gets runny. Everyone's like, oh, are you sick? No. They're like, well, what do you got? Allergies. Adult onset allergies. It's a real thing. Yeah. It sucks. No, I get that. As a kid, um, found out I was allergic to, like, rodeos because of all the dust and, like, animal hair yeah went to one it was kind of enclosed and i was sick for like what felt like a week you know not sick but allergies and then um found out a few years after that that i was allergic to cats so i was like man that's crazy and then as an adult i started getting seasonal allergies as well and i i can't remember if when it started like if it did happen when i moved up here to utah it very well could have yeah. But no, nah, it's not fun, dude. And yeah, I've taken allergy pills all the time. And yeah. luckily with cats, I'm not anymore because I got a cat. Yeah. That was that was my main reason for not getting one for the longest time. Yeah. Then my wife convinced me we got Maverick. And after just a few months, I was fine. Well, you know what's crazy about that is I had a dog growing up. I don't know if you ever met him, the German Shepherd. I think so. Once or twice. Yeah. And I all grown up and we would we would like play and everything and I would I'd like hold on to him and stuff never ever would I get allergies or hives or rash nothing yeah and then come up here and I, I was petting a dog and like my whole arm just red broke out and man. itchy and I was just so confused because I was like I've never been allergic to dogs Never been allergic to cats, cows, pigs, like, you name it. Never, ever been allergic to any of that. And all of a sudden now, like, 
I can't pet a dog without like slightly breaking up. And now my kid, he's got allergies. And I don't know if it's like my genes mutated enough to give him the allergies or mm -hmm. if it's, you know, on my wife's side. I just, I don't know. But I think it's like the worst. Like No, they, allergies is like sap the energy from you. Because you're not sick, but you have all those symptoms. You can't talk, can't breathe. Yeah. Your eyes are watering. Why are you crying? I'm not. <laughs> There's just too much pet hair in the air. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. One more reason why adulting, adulting sucks. sucks, man. Yeah. And then another one. It hasn't happened to me. But, and I hope it doesn't happen to me. Adult onset acne. I guess people break out like bad when they're adults. Mm -hmm. Like high school break out bad. It can happen, man. Which is some people like don't get it in high school, and then they'll they'll have it like really bad later on. Yeah. Some people are blessed so they never have it. Well, that's that's the thing is like uh, in high school I didn't really break out, but I wasn't really acne free. Yeah. It was just kind of like that in between. And like still to this day, like I don't, I don't break out. I'm not 100% acne free either. Yeah. But it's just like that. I'm like in the, in that in between, but I just can't like imagine breaking out like a high school kid. I just, I don't know what that would do to my confidence. Dude, it's just, it's, I feel like it's so much harder to take care of it as an adult as well, you know? Because, like, life gets more stressful, which is, you know, stress leads to acne yeah. in most situations. Yeah. And, I don't know, man, like, it's harder to get into routines of, you know, yeah, washing your face and having all those different treatments. And there's so many out there nowadays, man. There's Back so then, many it out was, there. what, Accutane? Accutane and Proactive. Proactive. Proactive was a huge one. Now it, it said that it doesn't even work, but... Does it really not I work? I don't know, man. It's just there's better ones coming out. Yeah. You know? And there's, like, there's patches now, there's treatments. Yeah. So it's just, like, not one thing works for everyone, mm -hmm. which is hard. Like, skin reacts different to all these different products, so people going through acne breakouts have to try five different products until they find the one that actually works for them. Yeah. That's just crazy to me. Like, I don't know. To me, it's, it is, it's crazy. The things that develop later in life that you expect to develop in your teenage years, you know. Yeah. You think you're do your body's like just about done and you've reached that point where you've stopped living and now you're just kinda coasting downhill for the next 80 years and then your body just throws <laughs> curveballs at you. Like, oh, hey, guess what? Now you break out when you touch a dog that you've touched your whole life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, why? I just... This is, like, kind of on the same topic, a little bit different. You ever hear how, like, taste buds change every, like, seven years? Your palate gets more refined as you grow older? Not necessarily that, but, like... Like, as a kid... I remember I, I liked tomatoes a lot, mm -hmm. you know. I would eat, like, the little baby tomatoes and the veggie trays the and stuff. cherry tomatoes? Yeah, man. Those are gross. They as pop. As a kid, yeah, as a kid, I thought they were good. As an adult, like, I hate them, you know? Yeah. So it's just like, I wonder, I bring this up because I wonder if it's the same thing with allergies and, and skin irritations. If they just, like, develop differently over a certain amount of years, you know? Yeah, maybe your body... Maybe you were never not allergic. Maybe you never not had acne. Your body was just fighting it for so long. By the time you get to adulthood. And then something changed, man. Yeah, your diet changes. You start eating your veggies, maybe, or you don't eat your veggies because now you're an adult. You get to choose yeah. what you eat. And, for example, like, I, I'll eat my vegetables. Don't get me wrong. I'm not nine. But... If given the chance, I won't put vegetables on my plate. Now, I do recognize that they're important. I do know that you need veggies. I just don't like them. Like, one of the big ones, my my 
mom teases me for it, and my uncle teases me for it, to this day, broccoli. I love broccoli, man. As a kid, I loved it. I guess I loved it. I, I would tell my, I would tell them that I was eating little trees or something like that, you know. Now, I like throw up. I, like, I have to mentally prepare myself and tell myself that if I don't eat the broccoli, I will die. Get over it, Marcos. I just, there's so, I like it charred, because okay, then you can't okay. taste it. Yeah. But like my wife, my wife likes her vegetables steamed. I hate vegetables steamed. It just makes them so soggy and warm. Yeah. It's gross. No, I get that. What we do with our broccoli is I'll steam it like halfway. Gross. You know, because I just get like frozen broccoli, you know, nothing okay. special. Steam it halfway just to unfreeze it and then pop it in the oven with just a little bit of like veggie oil, salt and pepper. See? Perfect. See, you, that's that's the thing though. Yeah. Is it sucks. You can't eat it whole. You can't eat it just cooking it. Yeah. You have to you, you have put to a disguise little, little it. flavor on it. Yeah. That's why like it the, sucks. The veggie trays man with just the ranch dip. It's one of the best. That's why broccoli. ranch is so so popular. Ranch is the number one sauce, in my opinion. You, you know, can probably tell. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I was a big knocker of ranch because in my house we didn't grow up with ranch. Yeah. The only times we ever saw the ranch come out was for salads, mm -hmm. and I thought ranch was a salad only thing. Then I go to, I go to work where I work now, and there's this guy, eats ranch with everything, and I thought that was just a him thing. No. Like, the more I looked, the more I realized it's like, ranch on your pizza, ranch on your pasta, ranch on this, ranch on that. And I'm like, dude, chill out. Ranch on pizza, that's, that's bomb though, dude. I have yet Especially to try a, it. A, if you get a barbecue pizza, yeah. so barbecue and chicken, and then you dip it in ranch, or like you have a ranch uh, drizzle on it, it's so good, man. Have you tried Two Jacks pizza? No. Okay, you gotta try Two Jacks. There's one in... I know there's one in Provo and one in Spanish. You get their cheese sticks. This is the first, I guess I have tried like pizza, but they're cheese sticks. Okay. And we, I got them with like jalapenos and I tried it with ranch and I, I was pleasantly surprised how good it was. I, that sounds very good. It was delicious. Well, it's, it's cheese bread and ranch. What's not Perfect, to like about yeah. cheese bread and ranch? Amazing. It's it's like a combination made and never mind. <laughs> but also, you know what else sucks as an adult? Hmm. Exercise. Yeah. I can't bring myself to run and I know I need to run. No, dude, the other day, it was only like 85 degrees yeah. maybe. It felt hotter for sure. I was like, man, we used to like do track and field at like 100 degrees for like two three hour practices and yeah. like i was obviously like exhausted after those but like looking back like also felt like good in those workouts and then just feeling that 85 degrees the other day man i was like i couldn't i couldn't do anything i couldn't see myself running i couldn't see myself let alone just pole ball dude i know well I just, I, maybe, maybe as you get older, there comes an age, there comes a point in your lifetime where you just, your body just stops trying to grow. Cause I, I, I remember that now, like, I remember just like sitting around last year, the mm -hmm. hottest summer we've ever had, I think by far. But I was also in a, in a unit where we didn't have AC. Mm -hmm. So, to us, it felt like the hottest summer of the year. It might have not been the hottest summer of the year. I can't remember, but. I mean, there's only one summer a year. Hottest summer of, of <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, in I a while. Yeah. Hottest summer of the year. Jeez. I'm losing <laughs> it, man. I told you, I'm losing it. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where you're like, I am I should be used to this. I'm from California. We're yeah. from California. Yeah. It should be no biggie. We've dealt with heats way worse. Riverside would get up to 120 degrees. Yeah. And that was that was oh, just what man. it would read. That's not even 
with the wind blowing and the sun beating down on you. Dude, the asphalt that you're running on the turf. Oh, the track making it 10 degrees hotter. Yeah. No, Jen, that's the thing. Like, I was just talking to my sister about this the other day. Growing up, we never used uh, sunshades, you know? Mm -hmm. Here, I have to, or yeah. my car, like, cooks. And yeah. like I said, it's 85 right now. Yeah. And my car's cooking. Like, it's I can't. It's the altitude. Yeah. It has to be. It's, it's got to be something, man. This is this is a different 85 degrees, you know? It's a it's different sun. It's not the sun. same. It is a different sun. It really is. You know, we got twin suns out here, man. Yeah. I think... I think every state has its own sun. Utah sun sucks. Yeah. Cause it, it does it doesn't tan me. It burns me just straight away. Yeah. No tan. So like I can't even go outside and get my color back. Like when I go down to California, I'll be out in the sun and I'll get a nice tan. Yeah. I won't even burn. If I'm up here and I don't like wear some block burn. It is stronger up here, dude. UV rays are like always 10 plus. I don't even know if they go above 10. I don't know how that works, but the ratings, the readings the scale are of, super high. Scale of one to skin cancer, I think is the, is the scale. Sun bleached, dude. Sun bleached. Not that caramel brown? Nah, dude. Step above. Sun bleached. The, the most prized possession for tanners everywhere. So, in conclusion, adulting sucks. Adulting sucks. Ranch is the best, and Utah has a different sun. Every state has a different every, sun. Every day. <laughs> every day. Every state. Every day, man. Every day there's a new sun. The government has to fly up there and put in a new light bulb. The earth is flat. Yeah. Every every state is its own earth. Every state has its own sun. That's that's why every state's in a different time zone. No, that's why it's sectioned off. Because that's your yeah. globe. Each time zone is a globe. Makes sense. I believe it. It's all just, we're all just in the Truman Show. Being watched. I love the Truman Show. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Oh, that poor bird, man. He can't fly. <laughs> Stuck in one spot. The wind. The wind. Too crazy. Well, yeah. You know what doesn't suck though? This podcast. This podcast is straight fire. Dude, amazing. 10 out of 10. Give us reviews, please. We'll help you with your adult problems. Yeah. But that's for you guys to find out what it helps out with. Yeah. It's a, it's a self discovery journey. Are you scared? Yeah. Are you scared for me? Dude, they're like $25 Walmart chairs. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Because long chairs are